So let's, let's talk about another drug, probably the most common drug we give out in the field for cardiac arrest, okay? And that's epinephrine. Epinephrine to kids, epinephrine for anaphylaxis, epinephrine for cardiac arrest, epinephrine for severe asthma, very common drug, a lot of applications. And I wrote just some basics of epinephrine for you guys to think about. When we talk about pharmacology, you're gonna be tested. What class is this drug in, right? What systems does it affect? Because some drugs only affect one system, where epinephrine affects a lot of systems, as you can see. So when we talk about, we'll talk about the class, it's an adrenergic, it's simple, it's a sympathomimetic. So that's a big word, right? So what does that mean? It just mimics the sympathetic, uh, sympathetic nervous system, okay? Well, Ryan, what does that mean though? Well, what it means is it means it causes, uh, it has an entropic effect, a chronotropic effect. It affects the squeeze of the heart. It affects the heart rate. We've all seen it. You give epi IM to somebody with anaphylaxis or asthma, and you see their heart rate come up a little bit, okay? Usually it's no big deal, all right? Um, it works on the alpha-1, the alpha-2 receptor, so peripheral vasoconstriction, beta-1, which is your heart, beta-2, which is your lungs. As you can see, this drug is like the nuclear bomb of drugs because it works on so many things, all right? Why I brought this drug up is because we're going to have a little demo on it, one of our hands-on drugs. But it'll tell you on every drug vial, and we'll show you when we get to the hands-on part momentarily, Epinephrine for the cardiac dose comes in one milligram and 10 mLs, okay? That's your cardiac dose epi. And on the vials, just about every single drug that we give, it's gonna have what the concentration is, and then underneath it, it will usually break it down to its most simplest form. And this is another great way of learning pharmacology. This is something that I always have done, is if I have a drug that's one milligram and 10 mLs, well, I wanna know then per one ml, what is that concentration? And this is where it's really simple. Most of the time the drug vial will just tell you, just look beneath the uh, name here. And so if it's one in 10, then all I'm doing is move my decimal place, 0.1. So I have 0.1 milligram in one ml or one cc. Most of the vials, well, all the vials will tell you what the concentration is, all right? So the cardiac dose, of epinephrine is one milligram in 10 mLs or 10 cc's, right? mLs and cc's are interchangeable. And what that equals, that is the concentration of one to 10,000, all right? Underneath all the vials, especially with a liquid, a viscous medication, it's gonna break it down on the vial to its lowest common denominator, which in this case is 0.1 milligram for every ml or cc that I have in that vial. That's what it equals. And why is this important? This is important when you start going into the pediatric dosing mode where everything is done by milligrams per kilogram. And you can break it down in the simplest form. And there's two types of epi and, and there's a lot of confusion. Well, I've got the cardiac dose, a one to 1,000. I have the, the uh, single dose, the, the vial that is one, to 1,000. And just so everybody knows, because there was so much confusion, I mean, when I went to medical school, just as of until last year, the one milligram, little one to 1,000, they took all that off there now. So there, isn't, there should be no more confusion. It is one milligram of epinephrine in one ml, where the cardiac dose is one milligram of epinephrine in 10 mLs or 10 cc's. And so we'll have a little demonstration here very, very soon. So a cardiac dose of epi is one to 10,000. That's one whole milligram of epinephrine in 10 cc's or 10 mLs. When you break this down to 0.1 milligram per one ml, it's 10 times less. So it's 10 times less the strength. So, so it's super simple. Could we make cardiac dose epi? Out of one to 1,000, sure. It's one milligram per one ml. Well, what, what can I do? I can take my 10 cc syringe. I can shoot out one ml. So now I have nine cc's of saline. 
and I just add my one ml to that. So now I have 10 cc's. I still have one milligram. That is no different than the cardiac dose. You've just taken a concentrated formula and diluted it out into 10 mLs. 10 mLs, one milligram. 10 mLs, one milligram. It's all the same. So it's important to know the difference between one to 1,000 and one to 10,000. For asthma, for example, we give 0.3 for the adult dose, 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams IM of the one to 1,000 dose. It's a concentrated dose. So the volume going into the vastus lateralis, which is where we should always be giving our IM drugs, it's a very small volume. I mean, could you imagine we're only putting 0.3 cc's in versus three cc's of a, of a one to 10,000? That's a big bolus, especially when we're talking about little people, uh, very petite, you know, men or women, or more importantly, little infants, I would not want to give three cc's into their thigh. So that is the difference between cardiac and the uh, IM dose for asthma, COPD, anaphylaxis. So if you give one to 1,000 of the epinephrine through a vein, which we should never do, okay? There's no guideline to ever do that. And uh, happen, this happens to be one of the most common uh, hospital mistakes that people make, both nurses, medics, doctors. This is super concentrated epi. This is one milligram in one cc. This is one milligram in 10 cc. So you can see just sh the sheer volume alone. There are very, very hardcore dangers giving this to the IV. We have put people in code arrest, VTAC, VFib. It causes an intense headache from the patient. It makes them go super hypertensive. And if they already have a cardiac anomaly or a cardiac condition and you give this super concentrated dose to the IV, you can actually induce a very serious heart attack or myocardial infarction um, leading to code arrest. So this should never, ever be given through a vein. This is given through the vastus lateralis at 0.3 to 0.5 in your standard adult patient. The cardiac dose epi is the one milligram in 10 mLs. Sometimes in severe extremis with anaphylaxis, um, asthma, the physician may order this at 0.1 to 0.2 mLs slowly given through the IV because it's diluted down. Remember, each, each mL is only 0.1 milligram, where with the one to 1,000, each mL is, ten, is one milligram, is the whole dose, the whole cardiac dose, for example. So once again, the little ampule, never draw this up. Actually, never draw this up in the full milligram anyways. You should only be drawing up what you need for the IM and keeping that longer needle on it. And that, space repetition, would tell you, hey, this goes in the muscle. This does not go through the IV.